NATO members and allies are meeting at the alliance's headquarters in Brussels to deploy more weapons and ammunition for Ukraine. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg warned Russian President Vladimir Putin was preparing for new offensives. Ukraine maintained its appeal for Western countries to provide it with fighter jets at the gathering, but the United States and its NATO allies and partners voiced more concern about Kiev's needs for large amounts of ammunition. Many NATO allies are bilaterally supplying weapons to Ukraine, but NATO as an organization only provides non-lethal aid. And we see uh, no signs that uh, President Putin uh, is preparing for peace. Uh, what we see is the opposite. Uh, he is preparing for more war, for new offensives and uh, new attacks. So it makes it just even more important that uh, NATO allies and partners um, uh, provide more support uh, to Ukraine. And we will meet uh, later on today in the US-led uh, contact group uh, for uh, Ukraine and address the urgent needs for uh, increased support to Ukraine. As Russia ramps up its military offensive in Ukraine's south and east, Ukrainian soldiers on the front line call for more Western weapons. Ukrainian local military commander says his team cannot wait for help that may not come. Ukrainian soldiers continue to battle Russian forces, but they have no alternative but to make do with what they've got. On the eve of a NATO defense minister's meeting in Brussels, Secretary General Yes Stoltenberg, you warned that Ukraine is using up ammunition far faster than its allies can provide. According to some estimates, Ukraine is firing up to six to 7,000 artillery shells each day. While many NATO allies are bilaterally supplying weapons to Ukraine, NATO as an organization only provides non-lethal aid.